That's right, you know what time it is. It's time for that Monday report. This is Ted's take for the week ending October 28th. We are already through the month of October now. This report covers Orange and Seminole counties in the great state of Florida. Why don't we go ahead and get started with this week's report? Hey, we're starting to see things level out a little bit. Uh, the new listings last week was 472. That is essentially unchanged. And if you look at that four week, uh, four week average, uh, we're holding pretty steady. Uh, over the last month, uh, we saw an average of about 495 homes entering the market each week. Uh, 472 is, uh, as, as we'll see later, it's, it's pretty much unchanged from September. Now, the number of homes that went pending last week did go up 16% to 470. You look against the four-week average, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit above that. That's not bad, right? A uh, number of properties that uh, closed their contracts last week was 434. That is off 7%, but if you look at the four-week moving average of 433, it's essentially unchanged. So things generally balance out week to week. Number of properties that expired last week without a sale was 22. That's up 29% from the previous week, but as you can see, that four-week average is holding at about 27. All right, let's take that deeper dive. Average number of days on the market has been holding steady at 31. Uh, we haven't seen much of a change in this week over week, and we probably won't going into the going into the fall season. Uh, same with the median number of days on the market. I mean, we've seen it uh, as low as about 10 or 11 days. Uh, we've seen it as high as 15. Uh, it's settling into that median right there at about 13. So that that seems to be about normal for a home that's priced just right. Uh, you can expect to see a, uh, an offer on it within about 13 days. Um, average again is uh, 31 so sales price versus, versus this price we did see this inch up a tenth of a point last week uh, homes that are priced right they're getting they're getting about 99 percent of their asking price again this is homes for uh, this is for homes that are priced correctly i do want to emphasize that point all right the median price for a, a three two uh, three bedroom two bath home in the uh, in orange and seminole counties is about four hundred fifteen thousand. now as i've said before your mileage may vary. A 3-2 home in some parts of town will run you much, much more than 415000 But that is your median price, and it's a good place to, to, to kick things around when you're starting to look for a house. All right, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the overall market and uh, summarize a few points, shall we? All right, now let's, uh, this is Ted's take again for the, for the, uh, for the market site. So uh, from what, it would, uh, from what the numbers would tell us, and it would appear that the market is leveling out. The average number of homes entering the market week over week in September and October is essentially unchanged at about 490 per week. Now the median price for homes sold over the last 30 days has dropped to about 415, 416,000 uh, from uh, from a, an average of about 427,000 in September. We did actually see one week, I think, where, where the average home price was about 475,000. So things are leveling out a little bit. I'm not gonna say it's a buyer's market quite yet. I'm going to say the buyers probably have a little more negotiating power than they have, uh, let's say six months ago or eight months ago. Now, inventory does remain steady with about 2,751 single family homes on the market. Uh, I know interest rates have been on the on the rise again. Uh, I know that I think in some in some markets they are above eight percent depending on uh, depending on which person or which bank you're going to for a loan. And I understand that people uh, that has a that has a uh, uh, what do you want to call it a, a tempering effect on on people's desire to enter the market. Uh, I had those same conversations three or four months ago when rates were at 6% and people said they were too high. I don't disagree that maybe interest rates were certainly higher than they had been in the past, but the fact of the matter is, is if you're trying to time the market, you're waiting for interest rates to drop, that might be a mistake on your part. Listen, if you're looking to sell a home, if you're looking to buy a home, if, you, if, you're, if you're feeling it either way in the market, Let's have that conversation. Let's talk about what the best strategy for you is, because that's the most important thing. Give me a call today. My number's right there, right there below there. Contact me today, and let me uh, let me know what uh, what I can do for you. I'm here for you all the time. Take care now. Have a great week.